Hey guys, how's it going? So a couple of weeks back, I did a video talking about some of the most unique Android launchers that you guys definitely enjoyed. The link to which is over here if you haven't seen that already. But the thing is, a lot of you guys want that pixel launcher kind of feel or you know that stock launcher kind of a feel, but with a lot of customizability. You know, launchers that give you the full freedom to customize things as per your liking, be it icons, widgets, shapes, visibility of apps, and whatnot. Well, that's what this video is all about. Hey guys, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and today I'll be talking about five of the most customizable launchers for Android that you can check out. Let's get started. Okay, so starting things off is Nova Launcher, which is so obvious. I've been using Nova Launcher ever since I can remember, like ever since Android came into being and it's still on my daily driver to this day. I still use it every day. You start off with a simple desktop layout, but you can customize it completely as per your liking. Change the style of grids, add custom gestures, change the style of folders, use third party icon packs and whatnot. Nova also has seamless integration with Sesame for a faster universal search. Now yes, there are a couple of advanced features hidden behind the paywall, but for $5, it's pretty much worth it. Now when you think of competitors to Nova Launcher, you usually think of Apex and Action, but I'm gonna stick with Hyperion Launcher, which is one of the more recent launchers to come from the team by Substratum, but is easily going neck to neck with Nova. Hyperion offers pretty much the same smoothness like that of Nova Launcher, along with some cool animations and a ton of features. You get folder cover gestures, easy icon selection, integration with Google Home Feed, multiple accent colors, custom docs, and even the ability to change the font. Now, similar to Nova, there is a premium version of Hyperion Launcher as well, but there are frequent sales for that too. Next up on this list, we have Alpha Launcher. Now, unlike the name, the launcher itself is super stable. Yeah, I know that was lame. But you know what's not lame? This launcher. Alpha is a lightweight yet feature-rich launcher. It comes with custom gestures to launch apps right from the home screen, the ability to hide your apps and fully customize the icons. You get a handy minibar as well to quick access your favorite apps and add tabs inside the app drawer to take organization to the next level. Apart from all that, you get the usual features you expect from a premium launcher, all for the low, low price of absolutely free. Now this video is about customizability and in that aspect, the list would be incomplete without mentioning Total Launcher. It's literally the most customizable Android launcher out there, but there's a good reason why it's kind of ranked low on our list. See, the launcher in itself is great. Actually, it's a platform that allows you to make the launcher work in any way you want. You start off with a standard dial in front of you with a contacts page and an app drawer below it. But dig a bit deeper into the settings and you can change pretty much everything and customize the stuff the way you want it to look. The only caveat here is that there's a very steep learning curve to it. I know a lot of folks, including myself, who have spent over five hours just customizing the launcher to try and give it a custom look that you know we have in our heads and we want to look, go for it. See, Total Launcher allows you to do that, but because of all the features and the complex UI, you will have to spend a lot of time learning it. Once you do it, it's pretty much worth it, but at the same time, it's not going to be friendly for new users. Now, I know that a lot of you guys want that pixel launcher kind of feel, you know? So why waste a lot of time investing into, you know, all these customizable launchers and trying to make it look like pixel launcher and then make use of all those features? Why not just start with a pixel launcher and then take use of all those custom features? Well, that's where CPL comes in. CPL or Customized Pixel Launcher takes the Google Pixel Launcher as a base and then adds a whole lot of customizability to it. It was earlier known as the rootless pixel launcher, though now it's been upgraded with the latest version of the pixel launcher and comes with support for modern Android versions. You can customize the dock, the home screen setup, add various gestures and a lot more. If you're looking for a launcher that offers a ton of features but does not require you to spend a lot of time learning it, CPL is your best bet. And with that, we come to an end of this video. Now, as always, you can find the download links to all of the apps that I talked about in the description box below. Also, if you feel that there are any other customizable launchers that I missed out on, feel free to comment down below and we can have a chat there. Till then, this is Varun from Guiding Tech and I'll see you in the next one.